Small video over at Holford on the 13th of August 2019. This is the second video of the day. Every video I do now is so important. Not that it will ever be have to be the very last one or anything like that, but being able to get out here with Alberta without having to rely on anyone and that means buses, trains, people being free to just come out here for the whole day I am late I've started an hour late there was torrential rain in the night you can tell by the how sticky it all is and so anyway I'm going up the track by the dog pound just let a load of horses by I spoke to just a couple in their fields. Very pretty horses. Quite often I climb up the other side, you see. Or I got the coom. Now today the idea was to climb first. Oh, you got the energy. Climb first. And then um, come down through the cooms, which I always prefer anyway. So that if the streams are very flooded, and I'm on the way back to the van, it don't matter if I get wet. I've had to carry the umbrellas today. It's more like spring, really, this weather, you know. Uh, as I said, it's supposed to be record-breaking. Um, the amount of rainfall for, for August has been a washout for lots of people camping and just people wanting to visit the various places around the country. Um, it is a bit, a uh, bit uh, unpleasant from that point of view. But the trees love it, of course. The hills, thank God, we were so parched last year, Sheila. We needed a bit of liquid. It's something to do with the some hot air movement that is lower down below us uh, than usual for this time of year so it's bringing down some polar winds and uh, weather <sighs> apparently I mean only a week or so ago we had a heat wave it's so unpredictable anyway I'll be heading up towards the memorial trees in a minute. I'm doing the top bit first. Climbing up the top with my bag really heavy, by the way. Mainly full of fluids. I hate running out of water. Depending on the weather will depend where I go. But one way or another, I'll be coming down Hodder's Coombe back to the van one way or another later hours time I've put trousers on got them chucked into me socks got a bit of pesticide on me to try and put off the insects all types it's beautiful this valley normally I'm walking up down there well not normally I vary the walk, there's no exact norm, although I tend to come back through the coombe because I love it. Now through there we've got the roundhouse that I always pass one way or another usually. It is a steady climb this one. I can feel the weight of my rucksack though. I've got a large bottle of water, when I say large, they're not massive, not like a huge lemonade bottle, not that big, but it's still quite big, although it's tough and sturdy, so it makes it heavy, it's basically though, it doesn't hold, what I'd say, that much water really, just over a pint I'd say, and I've got a smaller bottle of water, a fizzy one for a change, carbonated, I went off them for years, because I used to disturb the gastric 
because it's in my stomach. But I've got over that. I've also got a nice, healthy black currant. Not Robina. This is a um, one made with water. Less sugar in it. But a little bit of sugar. As a little treat. Um, sort of around about three quarters of the way through the walk. I allow myself that as a booster. What I'm doing now isn't the only hill I'll have to do. If I go to Picknoller village, I will have to come up out of that village up a hill. Okay, so basically, although this is going to be quite a big hill, big hill to climb, I felt a spot of rain then, but then it could have just fallen off the trees. There's this blue sky there, rain cloud there. Hence the umbrella, so that I don't get soaked totally at the start of the walk. Plus I've got, not waterproof trousers, they're walking trousers, they're very light. Um, jeans would be a mistake, but they're hot anyway, and too tight. And they hold water. These, the water will leave them very quickly. I got a spare top. Once again, in case I get soaked, I can just put that on. But I've got the umbrella. I'm glad I brought it because although they said this was going to be a dry day, there could be five minutes of massive waterfall. Right, let's just get up here again. Here we go then. I'm going to turn off now. We're up on the hill there, that's um, higher hair nap way, which I've done loads of times. Hodder's Coombe down there. This track I'm going up now, this drove, is uh, skirting Old Foxton House and Park. Okay, I'm going to climb up there, it might be a bit easier to walk. Right, we just go up there just to have a look at the pretty trees. But like I said, I've, I haven't really been up here since about June really, up um, Holford properly. Although I've been touched it. In July I touched it by skirting the Coleridge Way. Right, over and out.